Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Adobe Live. We are live uh, from Adobe Max in San Diego and our new guest is Dan Mumford. Yeah, Dan. That's a good way to say my name. Yeah? Yeah. I, you know that I, I am the master of uh, pronunciation. Oh yes. Especially <laughs> after six hours of stream. I would like say you are a wiener <laughs> at pronunciation. <laughs> And let's begin. <laughs> yeah, let's start. Yeah, because, okay. Yeah. So Dan, I mean, we already, how many, yeah, we did two streams together. One in off in Barcelona, yep. it was in May, and uh, and we were live. Maybe some of you were uh, live with us. Maybe you can tell us, but uh, it was uh, in Paris two or three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, you did an amazing illustration that we gave away. Uh, it was, uh, uh, and you had six hours. This time, yeah. Dan, I wanted to challenge you. You will only get 55 minutes. That's okay, not long. It's not long. 55 minutes. This is a speed uh, drawing. And you're using really an is. iPad Pro yeah. and Illustrator Draw. Yeah. So what will you draw today? Or well, gems. You see, there, there are some guys. You remember the gems. De gems Curran. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Hey, everyone. Yeah. We had yeah, some keep, people. Watching. Keep chatting for us. Uh, yeah. So today I'm going to do like a quick little so sort of like a crest or something for Max. Um, sort of a classic tattoo style. Something yeah. you might have on your arm. Oh yeah, I have so many tattoos. You know, oh, yeah. we know there's stuff under there. Yeah. <laughs> we know the stuff. Full body suit. A prison um, break map. Okay, so same, yeah, same stuff I was using last time. Uh, and I'm gonna just start. So I've got a very, 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 very basic sketch here. Literally yeah. just an outline of the sort of thing that I'm going for. Um, there's not really too much to it here. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do is do something really quite nice within a very short period of time. Cool. Not a lot of time for me. And I will let you start. And as you start, I will show to our friends your portfolio, just yeah, to explain also your style. Yeah. So Andrew, if you can uh, switch to my screen. Um, so Dan Mumford, illustrator from uh, London. Uh, Next to Sordage, <laughs> yeah, super precise. You know, name of the street, <laughs> and, uh, third floor, and uh, and this actually, is actually I think it's on my website <laughs> if you want the full address. Yeah, <laughs> and he he's uh, yeah, I mean uh, one of the most uh, talented illustrators. I mean, in this creative field, it's just awesome. He he does a lot of uh, movies, posters. Yeah, a lot uh, for Star Wars. I mean, all the stuff we like because. You know, we are, we are more or less the, from the same generation. More or less, I'm older, but yeah. more or less. More or less. I mean less. <laughs> but look at this baby. I mean, it's beautiful. So he has two techniques. Uh, this one, for instance, has been created with in Photoshop. Yeah. So he will use a uh, Photoshop. He will minimize the number of color because he used to do. He does uh, screen printing. So different techniques. And then he discovered uh, maybe one year and one year and a half ago, Illustrator Draw on the iPad Pro. And he's using now Illustrator Draw to uh, create also illustration, and you recognize we, you can recognize the style of Dan, and that's really what's awesome. It's just this beauty, which is actually a tutorial that you can find on the Create magazine. Yeah, that one is. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I mean, he's a wonderful illustrator. So now, yeah, they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They, there was a bug. There was a bug in the chat. They are all warwing. <laughs> Can I say that? Warwing. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do that. Okay, let's switch back to your iPad. So he's using an iPad Pro, the big one, with the Apple Pencil and Adobe Illustrator Draw. Yeah. Uh, which is a free application available on iOS and Android. You don't have to to have an iPad Pro actually to use Illustrator Draw. No. It could be any kind of iPad. You can use your finger. You can use two fingers. You can. You can use, use three fingers. Use your palm? No, the palm doesn't work. Just no. stick with the fingers. And uh, any kind of stylus will make it. Yeah. And so today I'm sort of, you can see a real basic sketch here of what I'm doing. And yeah, so someone is asking, create magazine tutorials. I will put the link in the chat, my friends. Don't worry. Create magazine is a magazine, uh, is, is the, is the Adobe magazine actually for creative people. Uh, so create magazine article. 
And I stay with us because actually we will give away something very special. Oh, will we? A free really. <laughs> <laughs> we will give away this. You know this? Ah, yes. That is a, be a beautiful And there are portfolio. some illustrations by Dan. Let me find yeah. them. Yeah. I've got three in there. I didn't know there were so many. Yes, yeah, so many. Oh, this one. I really love this one. But you will get all of them, but you will get like fine prints of Dan with a portrait of Dan by, uh, by Rob. Rob. Oh, right. so, so good. Cool. Oh my God, look at that. He did such a good job so on this. So you. So intense. Moody. So you can get a chance to win these illustrations, beautiful paper. Stay with us in the chat. I will explain how this works. We will do the giveaway in 30 minutes. Okay, you're already working on the shapes. I'm, go I'm going, I'm going for it. Go Ti for it. Time is very limited today. And say Christine, no, you don't have to say. No. Ryan, crazy boy. Christine, yeah, say because, Christine. Because the keyword was Christine for the previous uh, giveaway. <laughs> because we oh. lost Christine, you know? You know is what happened, we lost her. What do you mean? Yeah, the, the, the previous guest. Oh, she didn't, had she to start here, without she? her. Yeah. How did you do? Because she just arrived. So I, I, I opened Premiere Pro and After Effects and I, I just shared the two or three tr tricks that I know. Actually, I came over it because I wanted to ask you something and you were here on your own. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? So now you get it. But then she gave us like amazing uh, advices at the end. And she's, wow. a, she's a pro. That's know. all you need, isn't she's it? She's a pro movie user. Hi, I, it's, it's uh, ov 4 l uh, What's happening here? We have Operation Christine, yeah, it's solved. There is no more Operation Christine. <laughs> so we have Dan here working on the iPad Pro in Illustrator Draw. He's making an illustration. He only has 50 minutes left. It's not long. Yeah, boom. And he will share it on social. Normally I would take around 15 to 20 hours on a piece. Yeah, so it's so. a good point. Usually he takes yeah 15 hours on the masterpiece minimum. So it's it's not going to be quite like the stuff in my portfolio, but no, it's going to have the won't same. make it to the portfolio. Maybe same, to Twitter. Same, maybe. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. No, it's just it's the same. It's oh the same. God. The same principles. Do you know who Jaza is? Jaza, draw is Jaza. He's a he's an animator. I'm looking for if she shared. No, he didn't share it. Oh, did he do something today? Oh my God, he drew, he drew me. He did uh, an animation of me uh, dancing, <laughs> like twerking. I, I twerk a little bit. Oh, well, like last With night. With a big butt. Yeah, like last night. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's very accurate, actually. Okay. Looking lovely. Now, that's what okay. I'm doing here. So it's an interactive session. If you have any question, yeah, ask away. Yeah, Jazza was there. Yeah. Uh, is the is the registration for iPad and is it free? Okay. Okay, Kaizen. Take a deep breath. Let's do it again. Is the registration for iPad? Okay. So the application he's using is is called uh, Adobe Illustrator Draw. This is free and this is for iPad. Yes. Yes. It's also available on Android. Adobe Illustrator Draw. Uh, is tomorrow will be a section for explaining new features in Illustrator. So Asma, there will be a great session about Illustrator on Friday with Maria Grunlin. Ah. She was with us uh, uh, in Paris. About two weeks so ago, So please yeah. come back on within two days. But you can be with us tomorrow. I mean, I would be happy. Talk about the tools, please. Are these vectors in Adobe Draw? These are all vectors, yeah. yeah. So these are all vectors. So at any point, he can click on the share button, maybe yep. show it, Up here. and say send to Illustrator, and he will keep everything, all the layers, all the vectors, everything. Super easy. Or, uh, or, 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 or he can say send Did to you Photoshop. Break? Did you just break? Yeah, I had a bug. <laughs> send to Photoshop. Again, he, he gets uh, layers. Yeah. Because now you can go up to 20 layers in the tool. And you can work on the light. And this is what you do usually with the gradient and everything. It all works nice and smoothly. Uh, so Tim is asking, how is Dan changing the how thick the line will be? So you go into your brush, and down here brush. you've got these little sliders. Settings. 
And basically, I've just got it on uh, taper. Here, you see, oh. as I go up and down, that changes. So it's just like, it's just the pressure, the pressure you put down with the uh, brush. And I also have that on my eraser as well to do the same thing, so I sort of like carve away in the black. Works quite nicely, yeah. And for the straight line, someone is asking, yes, there is a ruler. There's a ruler. So you can display a ruler. And just put this up and then it, it, auto it automatically locks to the, uh, to the ruler. You can draw straight lines, you can draw circles, triangles. It's nice, nice, it's lovely. It's useful. But I'll, do, I'll do a little bit with that now, actually. Let's go up here. Let's go for the so can everyone. I work with this application with any Windows-based tablet such as Surface Pro? No, okay. <laughs> So David, this application is not for the Microsoft Surface Pro or, uh, or the Microsoft Surface because that's a mobile application. So it's just for Android and iOS. So iPad, Android tablets, iPhone. Um, because on the Surface Pro, you have the full Illustrator experience. But what I discovered is that in Illustrator, if you have a Surface like a touchscreen, you also have the ruler. Ah. Yeah, you can activate it. I discovered that last week. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, the rule is really useful in this. Yes. Which okay. are compounds and which are clipped paths that you can manipulate in draw? Uh, Brad, obviously you have a PhD in uh, vector design. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I would invite you just to uh, try Illustrator Draw, even on your iPhone, yeah. and just send it to Illustrator, and then you will understand what it, this is drawing. I can tell you that Illustrator Draw tends to create a lot of points, a lot of vectors, too yeah. much in my opinion. So what I do, because I'm very picky, I'm French, so what I do usually, I go to uh, Object, Path, Simplify in Illustrator to reduce the number of points. And then you keep the, the quality, but also it's much lighter, it's much better. Uh, why iPad Pro over Cintiq? So, question by Chris. You, you have a Cintiq also. I have a Cintiq. Yeah, he has both. I, I use both. Uh, but, when, but you don't travel, you don't take the plane with your Cintiq? Uh-uh, -uh. no, no, no. No, I use, this, <laughs> I use this when traveling. So, like, it's really good for uh, very long plane journeys. <laughs> I basically just work on the plane. Um, and, uh, you know, I can sort of bring files yeah. from here into Photoshop or Illustrator afterwards. So, it, it's, a, it's a really nice sort of uh, a combo that works really well. Uh, so someone is asking, they will, is there any After Effects stream today? Uh, so actually, after the stream, after done, we will welcome Adobe experts, and they have surprises for me. Surprises? Yeah. They, so it's a kind of challenge. There will be like seven or eight experts, oh. and they have five minutes uh, or so to de demo something and impress the chat. The chat will decide. So maybe some of them are working in After Effects, I don't know. What tomorrow there will be a session about After Effects. What happens if the chat isn't impressed? If the chat isn't impressed, I will just uh, take the badge of the Adobe expert, burn it, so they won't be able to come <laughs> back to, to Max. I think that's a good, that's a good yeah, idea. That's fair. I I like, fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. Good, yeah. it's not, not a big deal. Thanks for the answer. I mean, you're welcome, Chris. You are, we are here. We try to answer all questions, but it's not easy. But we try. Uh, those the iPad Pro has the same level of pressure sensitivity. Actually, it's quite impressive. Yeah, with the Apple Pencil, you have a lot of levels of sense. I, I, I know if it's as good as the, as the Cintiq. Not sure, um, but might be close. Actually, I think it's, it's comparable. Uh, I I can't notice it's over any one thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as you said, I mean, it's hard to feel the difference. Yeah, I know the difference as well is obviously the iPad Pro screen is so like. Oh yeah, yeah. Super sharp. It's crazy. Um, like, oh. you just keep zooming and zooming with the vectors on here, and it's insane. So Brad is asking, can you pick a shape and fill with a color? You can, and in fact, we will do that in oh. about yeah. twenty minutes. Be patient. So yeah, we get into that. So first, you work on the on the on the lines, the strokes, the the dark. Yeah, I'm basically just building up an image in black, getting the shadows and the sort of feel for it correct. And then we will throw in <laughs> some color. No, Ryan, this uh, sword won't be twerking at the end. There's no twerking in no this twerk. one. No, no. twerking with the sword. It was just with Jezza. Yeah, I'm not. No, unless you want to get up and do that. Oh my god, I, I have mean, to. I will tweet you the animation once I get it. <laughs> he drew a perfect portrait of mine. But then I'm twerking. All right, come on. I can't. I can't imagine it. But I'm sure it's incredible. Uh, it's incredible. And he did it in 30 minutes. 
it was a that's it, a skill. It's funny to watch. That's a that's a skill. He was super stressed at the end. Like, oh my god! <laughs> you're spraying. Uh, is the palm rejection accurate, Brent? I would say yes. Uh, actually, yeah. What's that? Is the, the the palm rejection? You know, with the palm. palm. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It works no, well. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I never. I've, I've not had, had any issues with it. No. no. I was talking about that earlier. Like, it's not really a not really a thing. Um, Although you can also get like the, the those gloves you would use on a Cintiq. Um, oh yeah, the, the uh, silk silk two finger yeah. things. That they're really good for just because it can it can get a little hot sometimes, a little clammy maybe. Um, so that they they work really well. Let's see, I'm nearly ready to do a little trick. Uh, so Dr. Purple Yamas is asking, do you have any advice as an illustrator for someone uh, who aspires to, to become a comic book artist? Comic book artist? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, I think with a comic book artist, draw your own comics. Uh, you know, there's a lot of, I think with anything like that now, social media is obviously the best way to uh, get your stuff out there. I would say just keep putting as much as you can out there on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, any social media platform. And just keep doing it and especially with comic books like you know comic conventions are now so huge they're bigger than they've ever been and you can absolutely just you know go along meet people meet other artists yeah. and stuff like that uh, you know it's the equivalent of like coming to Adobe Max to meet other designers yeah. you know maybe you can explain to our friends how you how you started oh myself yeah um, well I started out I went to university for three years um, in Brighton in the UK. Oh, Brighton is a very creative city. Oh yeah, it's a lovely yeah. sort of uh, seaside town. It's yeah. a good, good place to go. Um, and there are a lot of designers. A lot, a lot, yeah. Um, and while I was there, I also come from a sort of punk alternative music background, playing bands yeah. and stuff. You played and you made also album covers. A lot of album a covers, of yeah. Album. Basically, because there's the people that were my friends from when I was younger, I just worked for them, um, and that was kind of how I got my start in in doing stuff. Um, and th you know, that's a really good way to do it. I, I I always sort of say, if you've got a passion that isn't artwork, there's probably a way you can link that passion to your artwork. Yeah. And that 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 generally, it's sort of like this moment when it clicks for you, and you go, oh, okay. I can combine those two things I love and like, <laughs> and possibly make money from it, you know? Um, so and that's, it's a wonderful thing if you yeah. can make that happen. And that's the thing with comic books or illustration, like, how can you do that without patience when you, ha you know you will have to spend like 15 hours on one single piece? Yeah. See what I mean? Or comic books is the same, like it's uh, maybe 24 hours on just one page. Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, uh, yeah, not, not, to end. not something uh, I've ever tried to do, but I would, I'd love to actually. I would really love to do a comic book one so day. So Tim Murren is asking, is this illustration a mum tattoo? No, it's a Max tattoo. It's a Max tattoo. Because we're at Adobe Max. It could, it could have mum on it, but I think we'll put Max no, on no, it. No, it's Max. It's better. It's probably more appropriate, <laughs> yeah. considering we're here. Um, what am I doing? Let's do that. Um, Uh, so Kaizen is asking, can you draw half of the image and then rotate everything? You know, like reflect. Kaizen is very smart. Someone's already guessed what I'm going to do here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would normally... Actually, that's probably what I would normally do in the situation with the symmetrical image. I would do that. Um, right. But I think what you'll see I'll do as well is, once we've got those sort of perfect halves together, I'm also then going to work into it more to make them not perfectly symmetrical. So you can sort of... Just little things, little details will make um, a perfectly symmetrical image seem like it has a bit more not perfect symmetry to it. Um, and that's a really good, good way to do stuff. Okay. I'm having a lot of fun over there. What's going on over I there? I think there is a skate, uh, skateboard ramp. I don't know what's happening. Sometimes they are like, yeah. Room. You have some people making, yeah, skateboard. It's a lot of fun stuff. Definitely happening there. freewheeling. I mean, I can say that. Finally, they would. They would be. Yes, they, they would, would be. be. That's exactly what they would be doing. 
is this possible to use the brochure in Illustrator in the same way that you are using Illustrator Draw? Uh, no. So that's a question we have all the time, Patrick. I mean, you can because you have so many options in Illustrator to create your own brush, but this specific style you have in Draw by default, I would say. Yeah. It's not that easy to reproduce, I, I have to admit, even with a Cintiq in Illustrator. But yeah, actually, you could actually. Yeah. It's very, it's a very smooth sort of uh, yeah, it's smooth drawing style. It's, it's weird. And, and when you will try it, you will understand that as you draw, it makes decision. It's, it's very yeah. weird. Um, it get, it it gets, it takes a little bit of getting used to. But then you know, like anything, a little bit of practice, and you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, so you can probably all see what's happening here now. We're slowly building it up. That in. Drop the opacity. Now I'm going to make these two elements one. And then we're going to be close to a finished illustration. Someone and then we says, can oh, it looks it. so much easier with this retro draw. Actually, it's, it looks easier uh, because Dan is drawing. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Uh, you, put our, you would put our friend Dan in Illustrator also with the brush. I think that would be awesome too. Because he practiced a lot. He draws all the time. Yeah. So of course it looks easy. I think like, uh, we've had this conversation before, yeah. haven't we? Like with, with anything, a lot of it comes down to just practice. And uh, you know, there's no, there's no quick tricks. Yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta practice, you know? And with practice, Things become easier, they become quicker. You know, what I'm doing today is the sort of thing that would have taken me a long time. Oh, yeah. Like, I'd have oh, done this in a right. day, oh, yeah. you know, before. Um, all right, here comes the trick bit. Duplicate, transform, flip. Ta-da. Here we go. Oh, my God, it's so crisp. OK, let's, get, let's try and get as perfect as we can. Oh, no, I'm, oh, I mucked it up. Uh -oh. OK, I'm going to do it again. Zoom. No, I've, I screwed. Ah, here we go. Transform, flip pro. No, ah, oh, I'm panicking. Keep calm. Everyone, calm down. Take a deep breath. It's all right. It's not like the whole world's watching or anything. Ah, gotta get it perfect. Oh no. To be okay, you know, it doesn't have to be pixel perfect. I today. want it to be perfect. Yeah, I know, but you are challenged by time. Oh, I can do that. Okay, there you go. Sorry, this is a really boring part, but we'll get it. That's good enough. That's ah, good enough. You got it. Okay, we merge down. Now we have a full, full crest, if you will. Oh. So what I'm going to do now. Now that's all one, I'm just going to sort of uh, play a little bit around with it. And this is what I was talking about, making it not perfectly symmetrical. So oh. I'm just going to add a few like little... Scratches. Yeah, a few little bits. You. Just going to do it quite quickly. Just a few little nice lines, looking pretty good. Going to add a few little shadows in here. <laughs> Look, Smith, you need to practice more because he said he did that in the same time it takes me to draw a decent stick figure, stick character. It's all practice. Yeah. It's all practice. Practice. And uh, so do you plan, because you have like uh, 20, yeah, 25 more minutes? Yeah. At least, almost 30 minutes. So do you plan to fill uh, the shapes with color? I do indeed, yeah. Ooh. We're gonna at yes, least indeed. get some flat color in there. I would like to get some shading in there, but we'll, uh, we'll see how time goes. Uh, so Ryan is asking, uh, are there any tools you use to mirror your desktop display to your iPad? So I guess you're talking about AstroPad. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite good. I, I've used that a little bit. Um, yeah. 
I think it's impressive. Yeah, uh, generally I kind of just work on the iPad instead though. Like, yeah, me too. You know. Okay, gonna make this handle a little bit interesting mm -hmm. with, let's go there. Okay, new layer. Uh, will I be, the Bidraw be available for desktop? No. Illustrator in Photoshop can't replicate, replicate this. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, I mean, you can do something like very close, and you have so many tools, you know, in Photoshop yeah. and Illustrator. So many brushes. Uh, yeah, it, it's all there which, already. We just really, announced isn't it? Uh, yeah. this morning that uh, now in Photoshop Sketch, which is another mobile app, you can uh, now use Photoshop brushes. Yeah, it's really including cool. Including Kai's brush. So, Kai Webster. The one who created the good old Kyle, Kyle brush we, will be uh, live with us tomorrow morning. Oh, really? Amazing! So there is the day two keynote where we have inspirational artists on stage, including Tarantino. Yes, that's going to be good. He's a newbie in the movie industry. Yeah. Yeah. I hear he's okay. It's, yeah. It's getting better every time. It's uh, getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. <laughs> and then we will have. Um, at least six artists live with us. And we start with Sky Webster. But also Amazing. tomorrow we have uh, Martina Flor. She's a, a lettering artist, hand lettering. One of the best in the world, so I'm super excited to have yeah. her. You got let everyone. me check, because on adobelive.com you have the schedule. So let me find the schedule. Sky Webster, yes. Then we will yes. talk about with professional photographers. If you like photography, we'll talk about Adobe Stock with professional photographers and Photoshop masters. Then we have uh, more animation. So today you enjoy Jazza. Tomorrow you will enjoy Chris Georgines, who is another professional animator, very big in the Flash community. It's very nice. Martin O'Flor for hand lettering. And uh, Ian Robinson, 3D in After Effects. And we will end with uh, Japanese artist, Frankie C. And Zora Naji will join us during the last stream, so be with us. Zorana is the one who demonstrated Project Felix during ah, the yes. keynote. That was good, wasn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. It's a very impressive Really project. interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one, yeah. And so she will show it again, just for us, and so we can ask questions. Yeah, I was thinking about how I could use that with my work, like to uh, sort of mock up some things. It's interesting. Did Michael say it, Tarantino on Adobe Max? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow morning. So not on this booth. Okay, we <laughs> yeah, but who, who did we have today? Bart Simpson. Yeah, we had, we had Bart on stage. That was amazing. Bart Simpson. Live. That was so cool. Oh, it was so cool. Enjoyed that a lot. Okay. So I'm doing the fill thing now, where I'm basically making... Okay, so you follow the strokes. I'm making a shape, and then you can just hold down, and it fills in fill. the whole area. It's a very sort of quick way to get some flat color in there. I'm just going to... Uh, so, Nate, uh, when you send it to Illustrator, yes, you keep the layers. And uh, with Illustrator Draw, you can go up to 20 layers. You can merge layers if you want. Yeah. But you send it to Illustrator, you keep all the layers. Yeah. Yeah, it works very smoothly, like the uh, mobile to desktop. Oh, so Dominique is asking, is James Curran James? Oh, Rain James. Because he taught me how to pronounce it. I have to think about Rain, and then I said James. Brain, James. Rain, James. Otherwise, I said gems, and it sounds gems. like uh, jewels, you know, like uh, diamonds. Oh yeah, gems. Gems. <laughs> so I have to. I, have I to mean, think either, about either rain, works. And I said James. James. To James Curran. No, unfortunately, he's not at Adobe Max this year. Hopefully next year. We miss James. Already miss him. Oh my God. His, uh, he creates animated GIFs or GIFs, whatever, using After Effects. It's so freaking cool. GIFs? G G is it GIF? What do you think it is? GIFs? Uh, it's, the, the thing is that nobody knows. So the, the, the creator of the format... Didn't he say it was GIFs? He said GIFs. No, he's, right. he said GIFs. He said GIFs. Mm. I don't know who then, to believe. I don't know who to yeah. believe. I think we all get it. That's it's, a good it's, thing. It's if you fine, say animated way. GIF or GIF, you get it. Yeah. Why can't we always get along, you know? Oh, can you do a layer mask? 
Uh, not in no. No, uh, but you we can saw this morning uh, was Photoshop in mix in Photoshop mix. Yeah. So there is another map where you can create a mask, and that's Photoshop mix. Yeah. Available on iOS and Android. Uh, for the plugins, uh, yeah, Erika, when you have a, a new version for the plugins, you need to uh, copy paste your plugins in the new folder because CC 2017 is a brand new version. Oh, I can't wait to download that. Yeah, me too. I, I it looks it looks so the, clean. Stream, but yeah, it looked fresh. Oh yeah, we had a great demo of the yeah, new really UI nice. of Photoshop yeah. with the templates. Okay. How are we doing on time? Uh, on time, you have 25 minutes. Oh, we're okay. Oh, we, yeah. might, we might get somewhere with this. Oh, yeah. Okay. We layer separate themselves in Illustrator, yes. Uh, so, Destroy Crimson, thanks for joining. We're using Illustrator Draw. Getting there, oh, we're close. <laughs> so, did you add some uh, roses? Yeah. yeah. Got a nice little sort of uh, flowery background, yeah. Okay. We're going for real classic, traditional. Oh, yeah, please. You classic know. tattoo. Yeah. Bikers. If you want, we can see if there's somewhere that could do this for you afterwards. Get it? Oh, yeah, I'm on. sure. Uh, oh, yeah. We, uh, there are two cups there. I'd be happy to help. The police officers are there. I, I don't see do. any tattoo artists. Hey, do you remember off? There was a tattoo. Oh, Andrew, uh, can you tattoo? Oh, Andrew <laughs> is a tattoo artist. <laughs> do you remember off? There was the there was the tattoo people at off. They were doing uh, they were oh, doing yeah, tattoos off, there. There was a booth. Yeah, yeah that was great. And they were like uh, big names. Yeah. Yeah. It was really funny. It's not the sort of thing you'd expect to see. So Tristan Grant is asking. Uh, this is for you, Dan. Yeah. What is new in Dreamweaver? I think you've tuned into the wrong stream for that question. <laughs> um, okay, so someone say I haven't the, used Dreamweaver in years. The last time so, I used Dreamweaver was a long time ago. I'm not a, uh, yeah. I'm not a web web man. I couldn't tell you. So the new one is Sorry. really good actually because they they try to uh, to make something very light, very modern, uh, with a brand new uh, editor actually based on open source project. So you should definitely try Dreamweaver. I mean, if you haven't tried, it's up. You won't recognize it, honestly. Uh, the big changes in the new 2017 update, I would say mainly uh, a lot of updates in the video tools, in the video apps, and a lot of uh, performance improvements in all the other apps. A lot of uh, improvement when it comes to the user experience, how you discover the product. Uh, also, uh, if you want to uh, learn how to start with Photoshop, you're completely new to it, you will be guided with templates. So it's more a matter of experience this time. Uh, Dan, what is your favorite or, or your favorite video games? My favorite like video by games? Nordstrom. Well, do you know what Fallout? Fallout is a great game. Fallout 4 came out last year. That was a dream come true for me. I, I've played those games for the last 20 years or so. I like big games, lots of... Uh, cinematic stuff. Yeah, lots of cinematic stuff. You know, I find all that very immersive and really inspirational. When someone's created this huge world or oh, something yeah. you can really get lost in, you know. Um, even something like Grand Theft Auto, which is oh, yeah. obviously based within real world sort of things, but it's still... Uh, yeah, it's so huge. It's still, you know, you can get lost in those places. You have to be careful, but um, especially with like VR now, I mean, have you tried any of the VR stuff here? No, not yet, but I, I've yeah. been told that there's a, a crazy experience, like the Max VR experience. Yeah, I, I have to try it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think Jazza tried it. I know, someone was talking about it. So they put you the, the helmet in yeah. the VR and the... Uh, and you, like you, you walk on the, 
It's like a rope bridge. bridge, yeah. Yeah. But you feel everything. So yeah, it's so fun. I, I tried some of the like drawing with tilt brush. Uh, oh, yeah. I've, tr I've tried doing that. That's interesting. It's very... I need to try that. It's, it's weird. I think that's here as well, somewhere. Oh. I saw someone doing it earlier today. Uh, and someone, Ryan, is asking, have you ever get a chance to design anything in a VR environment? So yeah. Yes, did yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, did some, uh, I did some stuff for a client I can't talk about. Um, and we, yeah, I, I basically spent a day drawing in VR. Oh, to like make an experience. Whoa. Yeah, I spent a whole day in VR, and uh, I came out a changed man. It was oh, it yeah. was very strange. Uh, but it's, I guess so. You know, the fidelity is not there right now. Uh, it's obviously a very new sort of experience, but it's fun. Like it's very interesting to try, um, and I suggest anyone that can tries it. It's it's very different. It's unlike anything I've ever done. So Tristan Grant uh, is asking, can you get me a Surfer Studio? Thanks. Well... Can you get me one? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, the, um, the thing is that I'm exchanging emails with Microsoft because we might be able to get on the stream on Friday a Surfer Studio. Oh, wow. To have a live demo. It should be the first live stream demo. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. We had a great one this morning. If you watched the Day One keynote um, on YouTube, we yeah. are still working on uh, processing the files, so it, it will be very good with the keynote because you will have uh, not one big video, but one video per chapter, so it will be much better. We yeah. are still working on it. Brad, there will be giveaway. Don't worry, Brad. <laughs> uh, and there is a great demo of Adobe XD Experience Design working on Windows on the new Microsoft Surface Studio. And the Adobe XD team will be with us live on Friday morning. There you go. So tune in. So giveaways, yes. Okay. You can do it. Oh, I'm so old. <laughs> so make it on mobile, you can win illustrations, including illustrations by Dan Manford. And a portrait of Dan Manford by, by Rob oh, Generate. The guy. Who was so live with us, the, the first artist live with us this morning. Ah. And they are like, I don't know, like maybe 25. I don't know how, how many. They're really good. Can win everything. Yeah, it's got some of the stuff that me and the uh, Make It On Mobile sort of team have been doing from the last yeah, six are. months. Yeah, a um, lot of fun, a lot of fun. Okay, so to get a chance to win this, super easy. You have to enter a special keyword in the chat that we will uh, reveal. And also make sure to subscribe to the Adobe Creative Cloud channel. It will give you more chances to win. And it's set to five more chances to win. And Nightbot, which Nightbot. Is, our, is my robot. Love him. I raised him. I started like three years ago to raise this robot. No, it's quite, it's very uh, small. Good old Nightbot. So he has the algorithm. So the keyword for the giveaway is... Uh, What's it going to be? Okay. We, we, we do an easy one. In which European city those Dan leaves? We haven't mentioned it, so yeah, that's yeah, a good he one. Lives yeah. In a big European city, but which one? So put the name of the city in the chat, and you will get a chance to win this magnificent booklet. It's good. It's really good. Oh, it's yeah, a it's beautiful thing. Beautiful. There is some work by Jim O'Brien, which is one of my favorite literary artists. Some work by Rob. It's lovely. Yeah. It's all lovely. If you subscribed a while ago, it works, Ryan. That's very good. It means you are a subscriber to the Adobe Creative Cloud channel, so that's good. Uh, the chat is not decided. They say Brighton, London, Paris. Oh, no, they got uh, it. It's coming. It's coming. Sussex. S Sussex. 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 I like the way you say it, it's better. <laughs> What's our time? How are we looking? Oh, sorry, on time, uh, 15 minutes. Oh, it's close, guys. I'm going to do my best to finish this. I got this. 
Okay, we have a lot of entries, a lot of engagements. Thanks for being with us. So the winner, as Nightbot. So the what? Oh, sorry. Pick a winner. No? Still not? Winner. 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 I, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> don't smile, Andrew. Don't smile. It's not funny. No smiling. So let's find who will win. That's, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, that works, yeah. Let's find out. Nightbot, you have the power. Roll it. Alan R. Alan R, yes. Congratulations, Good work, Alan. Alan. You did it. Good job. So, Alan, you need to reach me on Twitter. Congrats, Alan R. Reach me on Twitter, we need to talk, and my nickname is Mshaz. Let's change that. Congratulations. And maybe Alan, we can know more about you, where you're from. That would be interesting. And yes, he lives in London. I do, yeah. Dominic, you're out of luck. Oh, it will, it will come back. We will be live tomorrow and also on Friday. Okay, so there will be plenty of opportunities to win this magnificent booklet. It's worth it. It's oh really, God, really it's good. great. We're getting there. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So it all comes together at the end, oh you know? Okay, so uh, Timurin is asking, so you worked with a lot of great uh, music bands, but yeah. how did you get to work with uh, licenses such as Star Wars? You know? Oh, um, basically just, you know, I think through doing a lot of the stuff that I was doing, uh, you sort of get known by certain people, I guess, or people see your work, and for me that was through doing gallery work, where I work with galleries on projects, and then they perhaps have other clients where you know, like, like Star Wars or uh, Lucas Arts or whoever it was at the time. No, it was Disney then. Yeah, um, and it's basically just a case of kind of just doing a doing a lot of work, um, and you know, you meet people, and the more work you do with certain people, the uh, more chances are you'll meet the right people. You know, it's all about it's all about just doing a lot of work, really. <laughs> There's never, there's never a shortcut. There's never a shortcut. So some people just joined. So the the program he's using is Adobe Illustrator Draw. Yep. Actually, I've just noticed, Andrew, that we have background music in the. Oh, thanks. Because we can have a music right uh, infringements. Maybe they will just shut down the stream because there is music. Oh in the no. That's, what I mean. That's not happened, though, has it? Come on, YouTube. No, no, but he boosted the our background music, which is copyright. Oh, okay. Okay. Just to. Woof. You know. Where's that music coming from anyway? I don't know. Yeah, because I think there will be people around us drinking and having the cocktail. The welcome cocktail reception. Oh, that something. starts very soon, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very soon. But we will have the Adobe experts right after you in about 15 minutes. We're looking good here. Okay, what I'm going to do now. Uh, influences, do you like artists like Ken Taylor? Does it ring a bell, Ken Taylor? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ken Taylor's amazing. Yeah. Lovely work. Uh, he is someone that I admire very much. Yeah. And uh, the program he's using is Adobe Illustrator Draw. That's the one. Putting in the chat. It's a free application for iOS and Android. Uh, is there any program from Adobe for 3D works like uh, Cinema 4D? So for 3D modeling, not really, but we just announced this morning during the, the keynote, the Adobe Max keynote, which is the biggest Adobe event, the Creativity Conference, a new project called Felix. And tomorrow, Zoran Edgy, who is in charge of Felix, will be live with us at the end of the day. So 
more or less the same time, actually. Exactly the same time, actually, uh, tomorrow, to talk about Project Felix. So if you like 3D, make sure to be there. Oh, thank you, Alan. I will reach you. Thanks for reaching me on Twitter. Oh, we're still, we're, still, we're still good. We're still yeah. good. We need to end at 55, so yeah. Still good. I feel that the live stream will be a mess. What does that mean? Because I, I can I, I see people moving around. Maybe Andrew, you can show what's happening around. Oh, us do you mean with the GoPro? like when we watch it back? There is a GoPro here. Is oh, hello. So people can see what's happening. <laughs> We're getting close to being done, I think. This oh, has yeah, come. I've, I've done it. Right. What are we uh, gonna do someone is asking, can you name the layers? You can indeed. Here we go. There you go. My Adobe Max layer. So I think to finish this off. We should do a little bit of type. Oh, I didn't finish my uh, didn't finish my flowers. Let me just finish these. Ah, uh, gotta get them done. Does Dad? Uh, oh, does Dad? That's good. Does Dan have an Instagram? Yes, I do indeed. Yep. Yeah. You can follow me at Dan Mumford Draws. I will put it in the chat. Yeah, that's the same on Twitter and Facebook as well. All the same. Dan Mumford draws. There we go. Thank in you. Alright, let's try and do some. No, it's no good. So he's not using a surface from Mars. Thanks for joining. He's using an iPad Pro. What the person to the left of you do? Uh, oh, Andrew is in charge of uh, switching the cameras. So we have a technical crew, which is uh, really good. So they are in charge of the audio, the cameras, and uh, switching the, the screens. And they, they work for Adobe. So it's the video team. Uh, so, will there be major keynotes from Adobe in Europe in 2017? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. There will be events actually in uh, November in London, Paris, Amsterdam, and Germany. I don't know the date exactly, but there will be some big events, yeah. Oh, the Shazman says for an iPad Pro, this is quite awesome, yeah. Cool. I have to admit, like, uh, how is the Apple Pencil brush latency? Actually, it's there isn't any. None. Yeah, there's none. No, it's really good. It's very, uh, it's very smooth. You don't really notice anything, to be honest. So, did you try the Microsoft? Ah, uh, oh no, sorry, the Surface Book. Oh, the Surface Book is the oh ah, yeah, the the computer. I've tr yeah, I've tried the the old ones. I haven't tried the new oh. the new crazy oh, cool thing. One. No, I haven't tried that yet, but I've tried the older stuff. Um, and it's, yeah, it's fine. Like, it's, uh, it's, it's okay. Yeah. I, I, pre I prefer the Apple pen. I think the pen, oh, I prefer yeah. this pen, basically. It works a bit smoother. Like you say, the latency on it, there's, there is none, you know, so. Uh, so, you know, Eric, there will be events in the, Nor uh, in the Nordics, that's for sure, in Scandinavia. I don't know exactly where, but I know they will be in November. iPad is so expensive. Where, well, Tristan, you know, it's, uh, as you can see, a very powerful device, almost like a computer. Um, look at what he has created in, uh, in 50 minutes. Uh, 
Uh, it's expensive if you just watch movies. Yeah. But yeah. then if it, if, it, if it becomes like a tool, like a design tool, like a real device, I think it makes sense. Yeah, I would agree with that. Oops. What's going on over there? Oh, it's a rough generated stream. So actually, if you go uh, Kaizen on uh, on adobelive.com, there is a replay tab, and you can replay. Let me check if it works. Because <laughs> you know, today was crazy, and you can replay on illustration with rough generate. Yes, it works. So there is a replay tab on the right. Get watching it. Le learn from a master. He's great. Uh -huh. He's so he's so good and so quick as well. It's beautiful stuff. Oh, there is an announcement. So there will be a welcome conversation. Oh. And uh, yes, this morning he drew Tarantino. And actually, someone was complaining like, oh, Nightbot, Nightbot, you only uh, pick males. <laughs> it's not the case because this morning uh, we had uh, a winner and she, uh, this was a she. Uh, where is she? We had Alexis. No, Nightbot is not sexist. <laughs> it's very open-minded, although it's a robot. Ooh. Any news about Abu Adobe XD yet? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, Shazman, you should watch the keynote this morning. Um, we talked a lot about Adobe XD, uh, and they shared uh, that you can do live collaboration in the cloud, uh, so that's the vision. Uh, what were they showing? Uh, layers, symbols. So um, our friend Tallinn, I mean, I'm sure you all know Tallinn from the Adobe XD team, will be live with us on Friday. And um, it will be cool because he will show all this new stuff. Yes, you can rewatch the keynote. We're still working on the, the details, but I will give you one trick. If you reload adobe.com, you will see on the top right corner, rewatch the Adobe Max keynote, and you, should, and you will be able to watch the Adobe Max part but we are working on a better experience. So is it uh, CMYK or is it R uh, RGB? This? I think uh, this is RGB. I mean, I'd be surprised. Yeah, I think it is RGB, yeah. yeah. Yes, it is, yeah. Uh, is Adobe Experience Design a kind of answer to Sketch? Yeah, it's definitely the same. Uh, population that we target, uh, but even more. So it does more than, uh, it covers more than just sketch. Okay. So if you are familiar to the space, we try really to, to provide the best solution. Yeah, and then in better. addition to Photoshop and Illustrator, you have something very consistent. Okay, we have two minutes left. I think I'm done. Oh my God. I think I, I did it. to look at it. Okay, what do you think, guys, in the chat? We're if done. If you think it's amazing, you should really say uh, thank you to Dan. Just do that in front of your eyes. It's very rare to have artists able to share you know, their creative process live. So thank you, Dan, again. No problem. It looks great. Pleasure. Even the typography, I like it. I'd like to do a bit more on that, but we haven't got time. We're, in, we're under pressure. We've got to do it, you know? Yeah, it looks awesome. But I think, that'll, uh, I think that'll look really good when you get that tattooed on. You know? Oh, yeah, that should be a great tattoo. Maybe the whole team could get it. It yeah. could be like everyone could have one, you yeah. know? Everyone at max, actually. Yeah. 10,000 tattoos. There should be temporary tattoos. That'd be oh really my good, God. actually. Yeah. What's the name that of this company? Tetley. All right, next year I'm going to come with a load of temporary tattoos. Oh yeah, let's do that. Well, like those those fake sleeves. Uh, they want the tattoo on their skin too. That's that's nice. There Thank you, go. you guys for watching. I mean, it was <laughs> great. Thank you, Dan, again. I mean, it was yeah, no problem. It's great. Amazing. Fun. And uh, we will be back in about uh, five minutes with Adobe experts. So the thing is that they will share tips and tricks. They have a uh, five six minutes each. I have no idea about what they will show. I will just be uh, very naive and pretend that uh, pretend I'm they learning never. something. <laughs> well, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, they are really true experts and, uh, and we will have live feedback in the chat. This will be fun. We will do more giveaways. So stay tuned and yeah, let's be back in five minutes, guys. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. And you can have a drink, apparently. Oh, that time. Finally. Bye.